allow me to be frank at the commencement. You will not like me. The gentlemen will be envious and the ladies will be repelled. You will not like me now and you will like me a good deal less as we go on. What I require is not your affection, but your attention. I must not be ignored. Now, ladies, an announcement. I am up for it all the time. It's not a boast or an opinion. It is bone hard medical fact. You will watch me putting it about and you will sigh for it. Don't. It is a deal of trouble for you. Gentlemen, do not despair. I'm up for that as well. And the same warning applies. Now, gents, later when you shag, and later you will shag, I shall expect it of you and I shall know if you have let me down. I want you to shag with my homuncular image rattling in your gonads. Feel how it was for me, how it is for me. And ponder. Was that shudder the same shudder he sensed? Or did he know something more profound? That's it. That is my prologue. I reiterate only for those who weren't listening. I am John Wilmot, the second Earl of Rochester. And I do not want you to like me.